And speaking of manipulation, we move on to the United Kingdom, where, it, the, where a latest picture of the Princess of Wales has led to a royal embarrassment. In a statement, Princess Catherine apologized after the Kensington Palace released an edited photograph of her with her children. But the statement from Kate came too late as the damage was already done. By then, agencies from around the world had recalled the picture, saying it was altered and manipulated. On social media, the floodgates were open as the rumor mill, including Sherlock Holmes-level mysteries and conspiracy theories, spread like wildfire. Our next report takes you inside. A smiling Princess of Wales, sitting on a garden chair, dressed in jeans, a sweater and a jacket, and surrounded by her three laughing children, George, Charlotte and Louis. What better way to mark Mother's Day in the United Kingdom? Britain's Princess Catherine's picture-perfect moment was released by the Kensington Palace after an unusually long public absence. But was it really that perfect? A picture that could have put all speculations around the princess to rest has instead ignited a scandal. This was the first official photograph of the Princess of Wales to be released after her abdominal surgery two months ago. She hasn't been seen in public since then. But the biggest picture agencies across the world have recalled the photograph. There have been claims that the photograph of the princess and her kids is manipulated. A close examination of the published photo shows that Princess Charlotte's left hand is misaligned with the sleeve of her cardigan. This cast doubt on the authenticity of the image. Hours later, Princess Catherine issued an apology on social media. She admitted to editing the photograph. She said, like many amateur photographers, she occasionally experiments with editing. The 42-year-old princess underwent a planned abdominal surgery in January this year. Kensington Palace had previously said it was not cancer-related and that Catherine wished her personal medical information to remain private. Details of the princess's condition have not been revealed since then. She was expected to be recuperating until around Easter and has been out of the public eye recovering. In fact, she was last photographed in public during a Christmas Day walk in Sandringham, East England. Last week, a paparazzi photograph emerged of Kate with her mother Carol Middleton in a car, with Kate in the passenger seat wearing huge sunglasses near the Windsor Castle. The blurred photo did little to assuage public concern about her welfare, and the latest one has only created a fertile breeding ground for conspiracy theories. Social media has been flooded with them. Some theorists speculate that there's something terribly wrong with Kate's health. Perhaps she was in an induced coma or was in real danger of dying. There's also rumour mongering, with some saying her marriage to William was on the rocks and she was in hiding. And then there are some who think they've donned the Sherlock Holmes hat perfectly well. They claim she's perhaps been killed and will be replaced by a body double. But not all theories around Kate are this murky. There are jokes too. Some users say Kate is probably waiting for bad bangs to grow out or to recover from plastic surgery. The palace, however, has maintained silence. They just issued one statement amid all rumours saying that Kate continues to be doing well. Well, while most of these conspiracy theories may be silly, they do surround one fact that Kate Middleton, a reliable pillar of the British royal family, has been long missing. For years, the Princess of Wales has showed up smiling at all public events. Even when the royal drama was high, she appeared with an air of determined normalcy. But her disappearance is certainly something out of the ordinary. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.